I was about 5'7 in the sixth grade. I went out for the basketball team and my first basket, I shot it and it went straight over the backboard. My dad just said I'd turn around back and ran back on defense and he was like, this girl has no shame. She will be good one day. I actually played soccer since I could walk. Uh, my father is Nigerian, so it was kind of a ball in front of our foot from a young age. My brother loved basketball, so if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have fallen in love with the game the way I did. For high school, I had a different path than most high school students. I went to a basketball academy that was called NIDA. It was run by Canada Basketball. It was basically a collective of the 12 best athletes in high school at that time. I learned a lot of fundamentals. I learned how to really love and learn the game at that age, and it was a very monumental time in my career. There was three things that I was really looking for in a school that Notre Dame met that criteria. One was I wanted a degree that would be valued if I chose to go back and live in Canada. The second one was my family means the world to me. Getting a school that was close enough that they could come visit me was important. And then the third one was an elite and competitive basketball program. Going to four Final Fours in my four years there could say that we met that criteria as well. Being a part of two Olympics is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life that I'll tell my kids about, my grandkids about. It's really remarkable to be and play for more than yourself. The draft had a lot of emotions for me. Uh, being invited to the draft prior to my ACL, it was pure excitement um, and honor to be invited to participate in something like draft day. But once I tore my ACL, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be in a room where my name might not be called because who knows how I will end up after my ACL. I got to sit in the room and hear my name called. I cried because I didn't think it was gonna happen. I really, to this day, say that my commitment to go to Notre Dame was the best decision that I've made by myself in my life. In 10 years or 15 years, when I'm looking back on my career, I really hope that people can say I took advantage of every opportunity I was given, that I wore Canada, that I wore Notre Dame, that I wore Indiana Fever, that I wore whatever jersey that I was wearing with the most pride, that I competed no matter what, that I left everything on the floor for my entire career. So I really hope that people can look back and say that she was a great teammate. She did what she was supposed to. She worked hard and that hopefully came out victorious.